Welcome to the 2021 Spring Graduation Ceremony. As one of the largest, long-standing and most transformed universities in Sub-Saharan Africa, the University of Guazul Natal is an institution with a proud and rich heritage of academic excellence. In April 2021, the Centre for World Universities Rankings put UKZN in the top 2.5% of universities worldwide placing it at 483 out of 19,788 universities globally. The rankings are based on an assessment of key academic and institutional indicators, including research output, quality of education, alumni employment, as well as citations. Additionally, UKZN was placed 71 globally by 2020 Times Higher Education Young University Rankings, a 15-position advancement since 2019. It is the only African university which features in the top 100 of these rankings which assesses research-intensive universities across all their core missions. The university's annual graduation ceremonies are at the heart of its academic calendar. For graduates, it is their proudest moment, signaling the culmination of a challenging academic journey in which peers, family and friends also join in to share their excitement. Although we are precluded from hosting a traditional physical graduation ceremony, we are elated at the opportunity to gather in a virtual space and celebrate in a new and unconventional way with you. The virtual graduation ceremony will entail the conferring of degrees on graduates who have succeeded in fulfilling their academic requirements and whose names appear on the graduation program. Congratulations, our graduates. You have made us proud. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I constitute this congregation of the University of Kozul Natal. Greetings, everyone. On behalf of our new Chancellor, Dr. Koza, the Council of the University of KwaZulu Natal, Senate members, the members of the Executive Management Committee, the leadership of this university at all levels, our staff, students, and all stakeholders. My name is Albert Tempingo Simoti. I'm the Deputy Vice Chancellor for the College of Agriculture, Engineering and Science. This is an exciting moment for the university. It is our second graduation of the year, the spring graduation. Our college has produced 385 graduates. Of those, 179 are postgraduate students, which is a significant achievement. 54% of our graduates are undergraduate students, bachelors of science and honors, and 46% are postgraduate students, masters and PhDs. We are very happy that 64% of the postgraduate students are MSCs and 36% are PhDs. This achievement is very important 
given that we've been going through some difficult moments over the past two years. But we are very fortunate that our university provided all the support that we needed to reach this moment. And we are proud of the quality of students that we produced. We have many cum laudes and summa cum laudes. Congratulations to our students who achieved that. We have 58% of our students being male and 42% being female. It's a major achievement in sciences. All over the world, particularly in this country, we are struggling to encourage females, particularly mothers, to go all the way to postgraduate qualifications. We are making a difference. This would not have happened if it were not because of the individual commitments of our students, the support they received from their family members, their friends. But the support that has been given during difficult times by our lecturers, our professors, our support services staff is highly appreciated. We cannot overemphasize the financial support that we continue to receive from our government, the industry and the private sector in the form of bursaries and the research funds. We highly appreciate your support, continue to support this great university. In congratulating our students, I would like to remind them the message that they received when they entered the premises of UKZN. We told them that we are training you not just to be specialists. We are training you to be thinkers. I am confident that the graduates of the College of Agriculture, Engineering and Science are receiving these degrees and will be leaving this university having been trained properly to respond to the challenges of this nation, the challenges of the globe and the challenges of humanity. The COVID-19 pandemic comes to us in addition to existing challenges that we've been battling for many years and we are succeeding. Those include climate change, poverty and inequality. We know that the science skills are required to assist every other skill to resolve these problems. We know that our graduates are going to contribute to good solutions that are required by the world. On that note, I would like to emphasize that when you leave this university, carry the flag of UKZN high, but make a difference on the ground. When people look back at this university, they must remember what the university can produce, not just as students, but also in terms of changing the situation of our country and the world. Congratulations again, well done, halala. I'm sure we will continue to be proud of you. Continue to be associated with this university as amazing alumni and do whatever you can to support us in whatever way that the students who are following you are going to need. Well done. Greetings to the newly elected Chancellor, Dr. Koza, and uh, congratulations for being part of uh, uh, our alma mater. It's, it's great to have you with us. Uh, let me also greet the Chair of Council, Dr. Moja, the Vice Chancellor, Professor Boku, the Executive Management of the University, the Executive Committee of Convocation, student leadership, graduates, parents, allow me to express my very warm greetings to all of you. Uh, indeed, we are here to celebrate. Indeed, we are here to congratulate you for good work. And we thank you for being so passionate in ensuring that you complete your degrees, uh, in ensuring that you complete your studies. 
but we want to thank parents as well for the good work and the commitment you have shown to your own kids in ensuring that uh, they succeed. We also thank sponsors who have been consistent in helping the needy students from historically disadvantaged backgrounds, and we thank you for that. Uh, we wish to take this opportunity to say, this is just the beginning. Just make sure that you continue studying, but in the event you go for employment, do not forget to plow back to your communities where you come from. Of course, you understand how you grew up. Of course, you understand how your community needs you. Of course, you do understand that the society as a whole still needs people of your caliber to contribute, to plow back, so that many other young people will be graduating like you are graduating today. Uh, without any further ado, uh, Vice Chancellor, I wish to thank the University of KwaZulu Natal for allowing me to be the president of convocation for the past 11 years. And I bow down with dignity and I'm thankful to have served the university in the manner in which we have contributed to the University of KwaZulu Natal. Thank you very much to the management, to student leadership, to students in general uh, for affording me this opportunity. Uh, I wish you all the best. Be safe, sanitize, um, make sure that you adhere to COVID-19 regulations as proclaimed by government. It will help us to keep the situation that we are faced with in, with this pandemic. And thank you very much. Thank you to all of you. University Chancellor, Dr. Koza, Vice Chancellor and Principal, Professor Nana Boku, President of the UKZN Convocation, Mr. Van Lesbisi, former President of the UKZN SRC, Moses Hansam Kambako, current President, Deputy President of UKZN SRC, Mr. Lungani Shezi, parents and graduates, revolutionary greetings to all graduates. All protocols observed. I humbly greet you all. My name is Malusi Michael Zuma, and I am the UK then President General of the SRC. It is such a great honor and privilege to represent the UK then SRC in delivering the congratulatory remarks uh, to our UK then Spring graduates. Success is no accident, but it is hard work, persistence, perseverance sacrifice, learning, studying, and above all, it is love of what you do and learning what you do. Education is a right and not a gift. On behalf of the UK the 10 SRC, we congratulate you on your success, a great achievement under very difficult times in our country. You have done a generation proud. We must acknowledge the collective effort that brought us here. Despite all the challenges imposed by the COVID-19 pandemic, as well as the inevitable challenges of the online learning, you managed to work hard and persevered until you succeeded and reached your academic goals and your vision. However, it is so unfortunate that after such a long time of academic hardship, this valued celebration and acknowledgement is hosted virtually due to the dangerous COVID-19 pandemic and the restrictions to observe health and safety protocols. Nonetheless, the efforts of the university management in arranging this virtual celebration are definitely applauded. Most importantly, let us thank our parents, our guardians, our communities who helped us reach this academic uh, goal. Our country is still in the midst of the triple challenge of inequality poverty and unemployment. So, when a day like today happens, it is indeed a moment of great celebration because there are many in our country looking in, desperation to gain access to higher education. While you are fortunate to be here, you have also worked hard to succeed. Doors will open, but what you do when you are inside, when you get inside is what counts. As a student body, we often look at a graduation as a day that signals the beginning of a new journey. 
and a platform that showers blessings on a cohort of future leaders that will contribute meaningfully to our well-being of our country. Throughout your stay, we have held hands with you to engage with management to create an environment that offers everyone who walks through these doors an equal opportunity. As the UK and SRC, we will continue engaging and persuading the university management in going beyond the education and research mandate and leaving the door open for continuous, fruitful engagements. In our democracy, engagement is important as it allows the outcomes that lead to events like today. We stand together to celebrate your success. Those after you will look up to you to lead. Take the torch of success and make it burn bright so that you use your educational achievement as a tool for change, to change the world, to change the societies, and make a difference. Your achievement and success is an inspiration and hope. Given the challenge of the COVID-19 scourge, which continues to cause poverty, death and destruction, we need hope to take us to the other side. Power to each of you for having burned the midnight oil. For some of us, it was a smooth sailing and for others, a mountain to climb. But whatever the challenge, all of you have definitely achieved success. We wish you well on your future endeavors. May you raise the UK stand flag and logo so high and continue to inspire greatness. Congratulations once again. Aluta continua. Thank you very much. Sia bonga and goals. Graduates, congratulations. Today is your day and we are here to celebrate with you your hard work that has brought you to this point, which is a defining point in your life. And you'll always remember this day. But as we celebrate you, I'm going to ask you to do two things. Firstly, please keep contact with UKZN. There's nothing that's more empowering for us as educators than to see our graduates achieve in life. And secondly, and this is even more important, please go back to your high schools. Give a talk at an assembly. Be an example, a living role model to the children in that school where the teachers can see the success that you've become. But also, you are an example to the children that are still in that school because after all, you give hope that it's possible for somebody in that school to be a success. And that's all that they need, to have the self-belief, the self-efficacy that it's possible to graduate from UKZN if they work hard. Good day, graduates. Congratulations to you and your family on this milestone and well-deserved success. I'm very happy for you. The late President Nelson Mandela once said, it always seems impossible until it's done. Today, you have not only demonstrated that it is possible, but you've done it despite all odds. So, well done. All of us from the School of Life Sciences are very happy for you, and we are proud to share in the excitement of your graduation, and we wish you well. As you graduate today, I want you to remember that this achievement is just the beginning of great things to happen. Therefore, I want to encourage you to keep pushing boundaries and to always strive for more success in life. Keep focusing on your goals and keep working hard in realizing those goals. Always follow your passion and be true to yourself. And remember that as you go along in life, there's a need for you to always evaluate your goals and to reprioritize as may be necessary. Remember that the community and the country needs you. Therefore, I want to encourage you to please use your qualification and your knowledge to benefit your community and to contribute towards the development of the country. 
Finally, I want to encourage you to please go out there and prosper. Go out there and flourish. And above all, go out there and do good. Once again, congratulations and best wishes. Good day. My name is Ross Robinson and I'm the Dean and the Head of the School of Chemistry and Physics. It gives me great pleasure today to congratulate you, your family and friends on this amazing achievement. On behalf of the school, uh, we are just so proud of, of what you've achieved. Uh, one has to reflect on all the time that's taken, the dedication, the many hours in our laboratories and practicals, and also the support from your family that has managed to get you to this, to this point. So some of you will be graduating with an undergraduate degree, honors, masters, or PhD. And it really doesn't matter which level it is. This is the start of a journey as a scientist. And we look forward to hearing from you in the future as you move on maybe with your education or otherwise maybe moving into industry. And we hope that you'll keep contact with, with our school over the years to come. Once again, I'd like to congratulate you on this achievement on behalf of the school, the academic, the technical and the administrative staff. I am Fatwani um, Pukmdao, the professor and the dean of Agriculture, Earth, Environmental Sciences. We are so proud of your achievement as a university. We are of the view that you are going to contribute to Africa and the world. As you case it and we inspire greatness. And we wish you very well that as you inspire greatness in this country and the world, and all the sacrifices that you have made and all attributes that you've contributed uh, within the UKZ10 framework, we wish you all the best in all your future endeavors. Please don't disappoint us. Go and contribute to the world, like what I said, said earlier on. We know that the attributes that you have attained in the past three or four years, you have done us so proud and you have done well. And we wish you all the best. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and 221 spring graduates. My name is Professor Glenn Bright, and I'm the Dean and Head of School of Engineering at the University of KwaZulu-Natal. I'd like to start off by congratulating all the BSc, MSc, and PhD graduates. Well done. You've managed to succeed in very difficult times. Who would have thought we'd be in a pandemic almost 100 years after the Spanish flu in 2018? It is for that reason that I encourage you to vaccinate. If we vaccinate, we can move along together and move out of the pandemic. You've been given the skills, the methods, and the direction in order to be innovative and creative as we move forward and you go out into the workplace. Recent interesting developments include the investment by Ford and South African Ford Motor Corporation. What's interesting about this is that South Africa is the major exporter and the only exporter of the Ranger pickup range. Then the president, Cyril Ramaphosa, recently launched the Toyota Cross Hybrid assembly line in Durban Prospectum. What's interesting about this is that it creates 575 new jobs directly and 1,200 indirect jobs. So there are some exciting times for the graduates. I also would like to thank the donors, the parents, and the sponsors of the students who have helped over the years. I'm sure you're celebrating along with the students today and showing a little bit of relief. I'd like to end off by congratulating once again the 2021 spring graduates. For some of you who are going out to work, good luck. For those of you that will be remaining and doing your master's or PhD, good luck with your studies. I'd like you to please vaccinate, stay well, stay safe, and I thank you.
I confer degrees upon those who have qualified but are not present, and I award diplomas and certificates to those who have qualified but are not present, including those who have qualified posthumously. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I dissolve this congregation of the University of KwaZulu-Natal. Oh, oh, oh. 